Welcome back to Desavi Productions. My name is Desavi. Today, I'll be showing you how to convert audio to MIDI using Pro Tools. For this, we'll be using Melodyne. Melodyne is a software tool that comes included with your Pro Tools plan, whether it be Pro Tools Artist, Studio, or Ultimate, it comes included in the plan at no extra cost. It's just a matter of activating it, which I'm gonna show you today. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification button so you don't miss a session. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, so here we have our session. Given that you've already installed Melodyne, the way that you're going to activate it is by simply attempting to make an audio to MIDI conversion. In doing so, Pro Tools will first ask you to activate the software and then go ahead and perform the task. So how do you make the conversion? The quickest and easiest way is by simply clicking and dragging an audio clip and dropping it into an instrument or MIDI track. So for that purpose here, I have a audio clip of a beat that I made a couple days ago. This is simply the lead, it's electric keys. And right below it, I have an instrument track called Instrument Keys. So I'm gonna play this real quick. Okay, now all we're going to do is simply gonna click and drag this clip and drop it into the Instrument Keys track. In doing so, we're, go we're gonna get this prompt that says, Melodyne is required for this operation. Pro Tools has detected that Melodyne is installed, but not activated. Once Melodyne is activated, Pro Tools will need to be relaunched. So let's go ahead and hit activate. It will then take us to over here, how to activate your free full version. It's gonna say your Pro Tools subscription, you get a free nothing of charge. And then you're gonna go ahead and enter the serial number. The serial number is gonna come from your Avid account. We're gonna to go to my products, view my products. And you're gonna sign in and you're gonna to go to My Products, and down here it's gonna say Melodyne Essential. You're gonna click here, and here it's gonna give you your serial number. So you can simply click and highlight this, copy, go to your serial number, and you go to Paste, and you're gonna hit Continue. Here you're gonna fill in your information, so I'm gonna go ahead and put Desavi Productions, and then once you've entered all your information, it's going to ask you to choose a password because you will have to make an account, unfortunately. Hit not now. And then you're going to have here it says active. Your serial number has been successfully registered. You now just need to activate Melodyne on your computer. So you're going to go ahead and say, that's my Mac. That's my actual name if nobody knew. And you have your serial number that we're going to block out later. And you have two, ex two activations. So you're going to hit activate. Activation successful, your Melodyne can do more and it will give you more information and a actual video tutorial of what it can and what its possibilities are. So we're gonna go ahead and minimize this. We're gonna go ahead and go to file, save, close session and quit the software. Here we are back inside Pro Tools after restarting the software. Let's go ahead and convert this audio to MIDI by simply dragging and dropping the audio clip down into the instrument track. So I'm gonna click and drag this down. With Melodyne now installed and activated, we get the option of what type of conversion we wanna make. I personally suggest that you don't use the automatic option. I suggest you click here and cycle through these options and select the one that best corresponds with the type of sound that you're working with. For this particular sound, I see that polyphonic decay works the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this. If you're working with multiple audio clips, you're gonna wanna go ahead and use the consolidate clips option, but since we're only using one big long one, there's no need for us to click this in. So we're gonna disable that and hit okay. It's gonna go ahead and analyze it and convert the audio to MIDI. Now, because we don't have a plugin here on the instrument track, we're not gonna be able to hear anything. So let's go ahead and add a VST or a plugin. So I'm gonna click here, insert A, go to multi-channel plugin, go to instrument and select something simple, uh, mini grand, there you are. I'm gonna turn up the volume and I'm gonna play these together and compare and contrast them. Pretty good, right? 
Okay, so that's pretty accurate. If you want to go ahead and further edit this, you're going to double click on the MIDI clip and it's going to bring you to the MIDI editor. If you need help using the MIDI editor, I made a video covering how to use the MIDI editor in depth. Go ahead and click on the corner, top right corner there and go to that video if you need it. If you don't, you can go ahead and just come in here and start working with your MIDI notes. Obviously, not everything is going to be perfect, so you can go ahead and define and specify how you want these MIDI notes to sound. Well, we're not going to go into depth for that today. I'm going to cover and show you guys two more ways to convert the audio to MIDI. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Now, the second way is by clicking on the audio clip itself, right clicking and go to copy audio as MIDI. So I'm going to select this. It's going to ask us again what type of conversion. We're going to stick with polyphonic decay. I'm going to click OK. It's going to analyze the audio, but it's not going to automatically paste it to the timeline on the edit window. What's going to happen here is we're going to select where we want this to be. So we can go ahead and click here, right click and select paste. So long as you're working with an instrument or MIDI track. So you can go ahead and drag this anywhere you want on your edit window. So that's the second option. We're going to undo that. Now the third option, we're going to go ahead and again, select the audio clip, click and highlight it, go to the top menu where it says track, and we're going to go to extract MIDI to new track. So I'm going to click here. And in here, we're going to get a little bit more specific as to how we want this to be. So it's going to ask us what type of track we want to send it to, um, MIDI or instrument. I'm going to stick with instrument. What type of conversion you want to make? Polyphonic decay, we're going to stick with that. We don't have multiple clips, so we're not going to consolidate anything. And then insert after se last selected track, which would be after the electric keys audio track because we currently have it selected. And then what do you want it to do with the source track, meaning the original audio track? Do you want to hide and make it inactive? Do you want to make it inactive? Do you want to delete it? Or do you just not want it to do anything? So for this, I'm going to just go with make inactive and we're going to hit OK. So now it's going to analyze the audio. It's then going to deactivate the audio track that we had, and it's going to create a new instrument track and with the MIDI on it. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag this plugin here. And let's go ahead and play this. That was the mini grand loading, so I took a little bit longer. And then we can always right click on the audio track and make active again. And this is how you convert the audio to MIDI using Melodyne inside of Pro Tools. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know if there's anything else you would like me to cover. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next session.